Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, we're gonna basically see, well, it's not really a tutorial, it's basically just a video where I'm gonna compare Vegas Pro 17, which released last month, and we're gonna compare that to Adobe Premiere Pro 2019. Because yesterday I placed a community tab post where you guys could actually drop your topics, and there was a subscriber that said, compare between Vegas Pro 17 and Adobe Premiere Pro 2019, compare the features, user ability, what is special, etc. So he got the most upvotes so if you guys want to request a tutorial make sure to just go ahead and drop them in the comment section of this video i'll see what i can do for my upcoming video but for today we're going to go ahead and compare vegas pro 17 to adobe premiere pro cc 2019 what you can do what is not possible in the other software everything like that so if you guys are excited make sure to smash that like button down below subscribe if you're new and say let's get started right after the intro Alright guys, so basically Vegas Pro 17 has released I think on the 5th of August uh, last month. So that basically means that this software is now packed with like tons and tons of features. For the people who don't know, Vegas Pro is a non-linear video editing software package founded by Sonic Foundry, then by Sony Creative Software and presently by Magic. So at one point, Vegas Pro was actually like developing, well if at first back in the day it was Sony Vegas, made by Sony obviously. Then Sony didn't really saw any future in that software so magic thought like yo let's just you know buy this software from sony and they just like blew a new life into the software and it blew up actually quite a bit right now vegas pro is owned by magic and premiere pro is obviously owned by adobe so adobe premiere pro is a powerful feature rich cross-platform non-linear editing application found by adobe system meaning that this is obviously just a software by a totally different developer all right so yesterday also magic tweeted out that there is like a new build for Vegas Pro. Let me just, you know, pull up that tweet real quick. Vegas Software, the, the official Twitter account tweeted out, we are excited to announce that the first update for Vegas Pro 17 has just been released. Our developers have been working incredibly hard to bring you over 40 bug fixes, as well as 10 new features and improvements. Read more about build 321 right here. Vegas Pro has like these builds that they release like every couple weeks, like new features, bug fixes, stabilizations, everything like that. So right now we're gonna just dive into what Vegas Pro can do, what, you know, Premiere Pro doesn't and obviously turn around what actually Premiere Pro can do and that Vegas Pro is currently not capable of. Okay, so we all know that Vegas Pro is easier to use. It is just a way like more friendly, you know, beginner like user interface. It just goes with the flow, you know. You don't have to, you know, find like 15 minutes to find one single feature. You can just browse around through the tabs in Vegas Pro. But that's a little bit different story with a, like Premiere Pro. Like if you want to, for example, insert text in Vegas Pro, you can just click on the Media Generators tab and insert text. But in Adobe Premiere Pro, you have to, you know, adjust all kinds. You have to right click, find some menus, you know, drag in the text and that's also the same for rendering videos if you're ready for rendering in Vegas Pro you can just go to file hit render as choose the format and you're good to go but in, in but in Premiere Pro you just have to add it to a render queue it works just a little bit different it's not necessarily like more difficult it just works differently video technology is the electronic medium of recording storing and playing of moving visuals from the year of 1951 where the first videotape recorder captured live images video technology established to a wide area Many technologies have been introduced in this field which makes video capturing easy and can be done by anyone with a small device in hand. Video editing is the process of editing the video after capturing. Video editing includes various applications like adding special effects and audio, rearranging the video segments, improve the quality of the video, etc. Vegas Pro is a video editing software package found by Sony Foundry, then by Sony Creative Software, and then right now presently by Magix. It's a non-linear video editing software. In this method, when a non-edited video 
file is transferred to a computer hard disk, it can be possible to edit it independently of its linear with order without considering space of intermediate scenes. Vegas Pro is suitable to operate on almost any standard Windows computer or a broad range of hardware. Also, it's entry-level cost software with some good editing features and adds certain add-ons that can be attached to improve the performance. Since it's relatively cheaper software, many people, including beginners to professionals, are using it. And that's a really, really big point here. Vegas Pro is a lot cheaper than Adobe Premiere Pro. That's really, really important. So on the other side, Adobe Premiere Pro is one of the first non-linear video editing software found by Adobe Systems. Presently, it is known as Premiere Pro and which is the redesigned successor to Adobe Premiere. It was first introduced in the year 1991 and which was available on Mac platforms. From its first version, a total of 28 versions have been published until this very day. Premiere Pro CC 2019 is the latest version which was released on October 15, 2018. Adobe Premiere Pro offers the best video editing features and quality than any other software. Well, hold on a minute, obviously, because people always ask me all the time, like Alex, what do you think is the best software? Is it Premiere Pro or is it Vegas Pro? Well, I have to mention that there is not really a best editing software. It just depends on which software you're most comfortable with and that you just like enjoy working with. That's really, really important. So here are a couple differences between Vegas Pro and Premiere Pro CC. So Vegas Pro is obviously for beginners, professionals, film enthusiasts, small scale enterprises, which runs on Windows. Sony Vegas Pro was 199, but obviously the price went up because way more, it has way more features, it requires a lot more work, the employees and all the developers have to be paid as well, so that's why they raised the price. So for Vegas Pro, we have a one-time payment, but you have also different versions of Vegas Pro, for example, like Vegas Pro 365, that you can get for like a monthly subscription, which you can get in the link in the description, guys. If you want to pick up Vegas Pro, make sure to check out the first link down below to get it, obviously. You can also get the full payment, obviously, if you want to, or you can just get a monthly subscription if you think that the one payment is too much at once. So then we have Adobe Premiere Pro, which is a monthly payment if you want to, an annual subscription or a quote based payment. All right, so the list of features that we have in Vegas Pro are just too many to like mention, guys. I'm not going to do that because if, if I want to in, like mention all these features, including all the new ones in the latest build, I'm just going to just sit here for like 30 minutes and like mentioning out all these features. But you guys know like the basic ones. For example, the OFX plugin. The most important ones from this list are, for example, like timeline, clip event, headers, uh, velocity envelopes, instant free, uh, freeze frame. We also have now automatic motion tracking, which, which, which was also in a previous previous version of Vegas Pro 16. In that version, in Vegas Pro 16, we had also advanced motion tracking, but now we have multiple ones, for example, like nested timelines, so many features, it is just way too many just to, you know, to count up. But the really cool thing is that the difference between Vegas Pro and Premiere Pro is that Vegas Pro supports an English language version, but also a Dutch one, which, because I'm Dutch, so I can actually like choose the default settings to be Dutch. In compared to Premiere Pro, you only have an English version. And Vegas Pro, obviously, is uh, it can be run on uh, Windows, Mac, and web-based, but if you compare it to Premiere Pro, it can only be run on Windows and Mac. And if you have an issue, for example, with Vegas Pro, if you want to head up the support team, you can just use email, phone, live support, training, or tickets. In comparison to Adobe Premiere Pro, you can only use phone, live support, training, and tickets, but you cannot write an email. So obviously, those are quite a lot of differences. If you take it into detail, and if you go to the software itself, let's just talk about a couple features that Vegas Pro is really, really handy. So let's say that you have a clip in your timeline and you want to, you know, split it or you want to remove a part. The only thing you need to do is just press S on your keyboard, S from split, and then you can just hit delete. But if you want to use it on Premiere Pro, when you split, you have to use the razor tool and then switch back to the selection tool. And that's just like some really, really like differences between those softwares because Vegas Pro makes it really easy with the user interface compared to Adobe Premiere Pro. And if I'm going to be honest, obviously I wanted to make like Premiere Pro tutorials in the past, but this software is just way more, more difficult to understand because this is why I'm so comfortable with Vegas Pro. Like in 2011, I just downloaded like a version of Sony Vegas Pro and then I was just so comfortable with everything just worked. And then all of a sudden uh, I was started making tutorials and people started requesting uh, like other software tutorials, for example, Premiere Pro. I got like a subscription, but I canceled it in no time because I just knew like the first tutorial I made, I just felt like, yo, this is 
just not gonna just gonna be it because Vegas Pro is just way more easier to use. The software was just way, way like harder to use. And that's why I just got this really, really amazing connection with Vegas Pro and also this awesome partnership with Magix itself. If you want to see like a part two about like going into detail about certain features, make sure to let me know in the comments down below, guys. So if you guys want to go ahead and pick up Vegas Pro 17 or any other software by Magic, make sure to check out the link in the description, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the continued support. I'll catch you guys obviously in a brand new video on a Thursday because I'm just, you know, taking these requests uh, very seriously. And it obviously takes a lot more time to just go ahead and prepare these because if you want to go to the community tab on my YouTube channel, sometimes I will just post a question. If you have suggestions for future videos, like Alex, can you do this kind of video? Make sure to drop them in the comments of this very video and I'll see you guys obviously in my next one.